Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Ives number 060F3 flexible doorstop in a polished brass type finish. That's what the package looks like, and let's get it out of the package and take a closer look at it. The 060 is synonymous with inexpensive, uh, good quality, inexpensive doorstops, and it's going to be comprised of a spring, flexible. Why people like these? I'll tell you why people like these. Because hitting it with the vacuum cleaner, it's a, it's a bit more forgiving. Having done that in the past, um, you know, let's say you've got MDF baseboard, you know, nice tall four inch MDF baseboard or whatever, um, solid doorstop, you thread it into that MDF, not real good screw withdrawal strength. Um, you do that enough and you're going to cause a problem uh, with the threaded portion not doing its job, being able to keep the doorstop installed. Flexible doorstops, while people will want them because they're cheap, people also want them because of that reason where they're a bit more forgiving if you accidentally make contact with it with the vacuum cleaner or with your foot, with your unshoed foot. Okay. And what we have here is the screw through the base, and this is literally going to you've got you've got a conical shape there. You've got a tapered situation. You're basically just going to push that onto there, and you'll be able to get that put tightened down. Then your replacement tip, of which there is a link below this video to that replacement tip, is going to be pushed right on, and your installation is complete. Really nice quality item. Uh, obviously concealed fastener on that. Get spring pulled off of there. Little tug on there pulls that off. Those tips are replaceable. They do get fatigued. They do get chewed on by people with pets, things of that nature. Okay. Uh, they have a tip diameter of 9 16 a base diameter of 1 inch, and then a projection of 3 inch. Let's study all that by quickly putting it back together. The replacement tip for these, by the way, are the WSPAT, pardon me, WSPART, stands for Wall Stop Part, dot 1076. That's the part number <clears throat> for the stop, and there is a link below this video to that. They said projection was 3 inch, coming up a little heavy on that. I did not push this all the way down, that's for the client to do, nor did I seat this tip as far down as it will go. Tip diameter, 9 sixteenths. I would agree with that. Base diameter, 1 inch. I would agree with that as well. This is going to be available in different finishes as well. And those finishes, now the F stands for flexible. This is going to be made out of steel. That spring is made out of steel, as is the base as is the screw, okay? F for flexible, you're gonna do a 10 finish satin bronze, 10B for oil rub bronze, 14 for polished nickel, 15 for satin nickel, 2060 for satin chrome, three for polished brass, and five for antique brass. So lots of different colors. And uh, again, just because it's inexpensive doesn't mean it's good, uh, because that's not what that means. Um, flexible door stops, just happen to be inexpensive and they happen to be something that will preserve your installation and of course they work very well okay not that you can end up intentionally not caring about bumping into it but like I said they're a bit more forgiving I have actual experience in that regard when it comes to damaging an existing wall stop installation as a result of that because you know really that MV MDF base scenario no screw withdrawal strength you sure don't want to, um, you know, be touching that. 
If you're going into MDF, I like to pre-drill my hole like one wire size smaller, just so I can get a real tight fit on that body of the screw getting put into it. There is a link below this video called Installation, which is, you know, just basically tells you um, locate stop in the center of the baseboard and approximately one inch from the door edge and mark secure base with screw provided attach flexible spring to the base there's then also a link to a document called product brochure that will allow you to review all of the baseboard style residential stops and their hinge pin stops uh, that you'll see the solid and the flexible they have a different flexible one as well the 63 um, is there uh, and I think the concept of the 63 over the 060 is that it's just because of its significantly tapered spring body will be less flexible over the entire length of the spring itself. The tip will be flexible, but not so much all of it. Don't sell many 63s, uh, that's for sure. The 69 hinge pin door stops, those are pretty popular. Uh, people like those better than the 70s. With the 69, you can actually convince those to work on a four and a half inch commercial hinge. Uh, and then you've got your SR65, that would be a wood frame bumper if you wanted to install those. Finally, there's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Ives products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website as well as a link to the full product catalog. Any questions on the Ives 060 and an F3 finish, flexible doorstop, or any other Ives product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.